A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Welcome to your 35-minute restorative yoga class. Hi, I'm Dana, and that's my husband, Lou. For the past five years, we've been on a mission to live creatively. It all started when we quit our jobs in New York, moved abroad, bought a rusty old van named Odie, fixed him up in the mountains in Spain, drove through most of Europe, wrote a book, sold the van, and bought a sailboat. Our next goal is to circumnavigate the earth in our 1976 Rasmus 35. But first, we need to prepare Penelope for the voyage of a lifetime. So welcome to the Winter Build Series. Love you. Love you. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> so today we are doing a self-care Sunday. And you know, self-care looks different to different people. And for me, it means that we need to clean this house. Well, I want to clean this house the before. This is the before. Oh, it's also super unorganized. The before. So today is a beautiful self-care Sunday. Dana's at home in the house being a house mouse and I get to come to the boat and do fun, easy projects. Today I wanna to get the solar cabinet done, at least like the rough part of that. And then I also wanna fix the situation going on with the couches. Some of the boards are uneven, so I just need to trim like 15 different boards down to size and then cut the plank, like the larger boards that are gonna go on top of that. It's confusing, I'll show you really quick. All right, so here's where we're at. This board is nice and perfectly flush here, but these ones ended up being just a little bit too high. So when the board comes on here, it's not perfectly flush. And so I just need to trim all of these little boards just a tiny bit so that this whole setup will be fixed. And then I'm gonna make a couple more of these. One goes there. And then I'm thinking for this section here, I'm actually gonna put a divider in on each of these. And this way we can have like a section for rice, a section for beans, a section for cans, and it'll just be like really nice and organized. So the divider will go down there to stop stuff from like moving around in between the sections. And then each of these will have its own separate little top so you can get in there and obviously the dinghy wheels are gonna go somewhere else. Then the other project for today is to make the cabinet that's gonna hold all of this stuff and then I can start varnishing it in the house and we can get that situation covered up so it doesn't keep collecting so much dust.
So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time so since we had been living in a van for a couple of years and then we got the boat, it's been so long since we've actually had plants and it's been so much fun taking care of the plants. And I feel like, I don't know if any of you have plants out there, you will know the new leaf excitement. So one of the leaves on this plant opened up two days ago and another one is unraveling now and I'm so excited. So this one is a new, new growth. This one's unraveling. We've got another little baby coming here. Um, and I just love this plant so much. And so now I'm gonna water all of our plants, which is one of the most relaxing things to do once a week. On Sundays, I normally water them, but you kind of have to tell some of them don't need water. As it's gotten colder, they seem to like not need to be watered as much. Um, but you know, play it out. This one is also a new, beautiful leaf. And these ones I think are the old ones. I don't know if anybody knows what the speckles are, but this one has speckles. And this guy over here has some speckles. This guy I need help with. I don't know what's going on. It came and it was like doing fine. And then I think like a spider or something might have like made it its home because there's like always cobwebs and stuff on it or like mites, I'm not sure. And then a bunch of the leaves started dying. I tried to like clean it off, but I'll show you. This is obviously like dead. This is dead. But then it's got some that are doing great. So I'm like maybe it will come back to life. Some leftover curry, rice, shredded carrots, into the marvelous microwave. <sighs> what a relief. So it took me about like three and a half hours, but I did have lunch and it's crazy. Like that's the beauty of having like a cozy little cottage is that it doesn't really take that long to clean it. And we've definitely found that when we were in the van, it would get crazy so quickly. And the same with the boat this summer, it would get crazy so quickly. But when you have small space, it's actually really quick to clean. And especially living in the cottage, it's so easy because you have dishwashers and laundry machines. So I feel like that was actually a really casual, really lovely experience. And I feel like self care sometimes can be a thing that people make out to be like, has to be like expensive or something like that. But honestly, like cleaning your house is self-care because now that the house is clean, I feel like so much better and I'm really excited to do a little bit of research and then I might try to squeeze in a little run because it's like been cooped up inside so much lately because we've been working on the Grit Rocks, we weren't working on Penelope that much. Oh, speaking of which, I wanted to show you guys how they turned out. Lou worked so hard on these. So this is the one that I wear like all the time and I love, and that is from Casares in Spain. And we have a bunch from there. So if you want like your own one from the donkey pen, like those are gonna be going up on our website. Um, I'm not sure when he's launching this store, but I think like very, very soon. These ones are from Peniche, Portugal. I don't know if you can see that. They're really beautiful, a lot of like very smooth stones. Um, and Peniche, we, ha we were there for actually a while in the van and that is where I started my first Inktober, which was like a daily drawing challenge, which I absolutely loved. It's where I had my birthday. I think I turned 28, I turned 28 in Peniche. Then he has ones from Greece, from an island in Greece. These ones are really beautiful. They're like kind of like crystals. I might like switch it up. I have to decide like, do I switch? And Lucy and I can have one from every collection. There's ones from Iceland. Oh yeah, that's these ones. These are really cool. They're like black. So yeah, Lou worked really, really hard on those. I helped him a bit, but it was mainly him. Um, so yeah, I was thinking I'd go on a run after I get some research done today i am researching which caribbean islands that we want to visit um or hoping to head to bermuda and then the azores and then um 
maybe to Cape Verde Islands or the Canaries and then go down to the Caribbean when we do our beginning of our circumnavigation. It's a little bit of an extra Atlantic circle, but you know, we're trying to see as much as we can. But for the Caribbean, I'm trying to figure out where we should go. So if you have recommendations for the Caribbean, let me know. I'm thinking potentially St. Vincent or St. Lucia um, as a like stopping in point from the Cape Verde Islands, but I'm open to suggestion. So that's the basic idea. I'm gonna take it home and varnish it before I put it on the wall because it's gonna be so much easier to do when it's not like mounted on the wall. These are all the air vents. They're gonna get nice little stainless steel covers and then the doors still need to come on. And yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice. It's the same mahogany that the boat's built out of, but obviously the mahogany on the boat is like 40 years old. So it's not gonna look exactly the same at first, but. Hopefully over time it'll like match a little bit better. And now the next project is to tackle this little disaster. for today. I ran out of clamps so I can't keep clamping and gluing stuff and it's kind of cold anyway so it's probably not a good idea to be gluing stuff in these temperatures but the projects need to keep moving and none of this stuff is like too important. So yeah it's been a nice day in the boatyard. It was really beautiful weather. The sun was out. It wasn't that cold. So this is where we're at. I just need to make the cover for that one, that one, and that one and then this whole area is done and this cabinet is pretty much done I just have to put the front on it and then varnish it so yeah we're in good shape
I just got out of the bath and it was like the most relaxing bath ever. And I didn't do a hair mask or a face mask. It's just like just relaxing in the bath was plenty. I just started a new book um, and it was really good. I finished How to Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. That was really good. I read that the last few weeks and now I'm starting Atomic Habits, which has been in our Kindle for ages. Lou read it, I think when we were in the van, but I've never read it, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but now I am going to start cooking and I'm gonna make latkes, which is something that Lou has been requesting, I honestly would say for months. Like truly, he has asked for latkes so much, but it's kind of a lot of work to shred all the potatoes and then they go in the oven and I feel like you make so much effort and you only get a couple of them. Um, but I have rested all day. I feel rejuvenated and I'm excited to get cooking. So I am going to get started on that. Huh. Hello. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, latkes! <laughs> Six months in the waiting. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This is really exciting. Ooh, they're, they're so They're gonna be really crispy. hot. Yeah. And wow. now we're gonna play chess, which is our evening ritual. Uh, we've been playing so much chess for the last few weeks. It's like this chess board I think has given us, I don't know, like 50 hours of entertainment. Like, More than that. I mean, we think? play like two hours a day. It's like one of those things where like, we got we, it at Christmas. Yeah, we got it at Christmas. We've been playing like every single day for months now. And it's like, you know, we're getting sleepy. Maybe it's eight o'clock and then we play chess and then it's like 10 p.m. and we're like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's like, as if it's like a Netflix binge, like you don't even know what happened. I feel like that is what's happening with us and chess. It just all of a sudden time has passed because it's so much fun and I actually have a tip. If you are playing with somebody who is much better than you, which is Lou is much better than I am at chess, what you have to do is you have to make them play without their queen. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. We're all about functional, beautiful design, which is why we've been running our website with their awesome templates for years now. Building a website with Squarespace is easy and takes no time at all. Head to squarespace.com slash wildweroom for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. <laughs> 